This is a little bit of an update in the Core 64 project, just ahead of VCF East 2023. What I've been working on, among other things, is the core weaving fixture. I got some initial prototypes from a friend of mine, Bill. Thank you, Bill, for those. And this latest iteration that I'm working on comes to us from PCB Way. So thank you, PCB Way, for sponsoring these. The whole point of this is to make weaving from this state to this state a whole lot easier. The idea is that you're going to put these cores in these little pockets, uh, place all 64 of the cores first, and these pockets aren't deep enough, so that is a design change that is in the next iteration. And then you put top half of the cover on. I'm going to actually try to accomplish this. This is painstaking trying to make this ultimately easier and more accessible to people. Have you ever tried working with core memory on camera? It goes much better when you're on camera. Try another. It's not going to be good, but let's see what happens. Does that one go through? Sure enough, that one went through. Even came out in the right spot. Oh shoot, which one did I do? This one or this one? I don't know. Run that one through, and in case I was wrong, run another one through here. See if this will work. Oh, I felt something. That one might have been the actual core. So you can see that's, I mean, relatively easier. And there we go. That one actually went through. I was wrong on that first one, but this one went through just like it's supposed to. Um, and this is just for the X and Y wires, which I think are the most difficult. The sense wire you'll weave once it's in the fixture here, once this whole thing is or placed into this core board, I think that'll be a lot easier. The sense wire is generally a lot easier to weave. The other thing I'm working on that is coming hopefully in April is I'm going to have more of the uh, large version of the kit, the larger logic board version of the Core 64 kit in stock again. I've only got these in stock right now, but the probably the most significant change is instead of using the Teensy 3.2, I'm moving to the Pico. So both of these will be running on the Pico. Um, Firmware source code is still compatible with all the previous versions, but I'm just trying to align these two to use the Pico. And this one is also going to come with the Wi-Fi version of the Pico, whereas this one currently does not. Uh, pretty minor cost difference if you want to do that on your own, but the goal is that these will, will be, as electronic badges, able to communicate with each other and synchronize the screens and do some more cool stuff. This one is also a, a prototype and all these headers are optional to be added on if you want to hack and expand it. Anyway, there's a teaser.